The following is a paid commercial announcement. The view of the following program does not necessarily reflect those of the staff, management, or sponsors of News Radio 1180 WHAM. Now on 50,000 Watt News Radio 1180 WHAM, this is Ask the Experts. Grab a line now at 222 1180. Star 1180, a free call for Verizon Wireless subscribers, or the One Communications line at 1-800-295-1180. Now live from the WHAM studios in downtown Rochester, it's Ask the Experts. Good evening and welcome to Simply Green Radio here on News Radio 1180 WHAM. Simply Green Radio brought to you by Simply Green Energy and Mr. Ruder Plumbing. And a pleasure to have back in studio again for a second time now. They were here last week to make their, uh, I guess, rookie appearance on Ask the Experts. Welcoming Maurice Aubrey, Mo, the project manager at Simply Green Energy. Uh, he specializes in renewable energy. Pete Maurice, true story Pete, the project manager for renewable energy for Mr. Ruder Plumbing. He uh, specializes in its green division and on water conservation and also in studio. Brenna Hartman, a fixie chick, the founder of Healthy Homes of Rochester.com. And uh, pleasure to have you both, all th- well, both, all three of you here in studio. <laughs> thank you, Brandon. Hey, thank you, Brandon. Good to have you back. And well, just to just to let our listeners know, Simply Green Radio, Simply Green Energy. Uh, what are we talking about here, Mo? I'll, I'll start it off with you. Oh, well, that's a that's a great question. <laughs> Glad you asked. Um, Simply Green Energy was uh, actually uh, founded by a minority owned. It's actually a woman owned company. That's and, what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> I, I figured you'd like that. <laughs> Not my company, though, we should say. Right, right. <laughs> um, but uh, the goal of the owner is to actually uh, have a company where if a homeowner wanted to come and uh, let's say, you know, you want it to be, uh, you know, net zero energy uh, for your home. You want to build a home, not necessarily off the grid, although that can happen, but, um, you know, to have a house where it will consume uh it will um, produce as much energy as it consumes or or maybe even a little more and maybe even get a small check back from the utility company. Um, it's kind of the goal of the company. It's going to have uh, several different divisions. Uh, one is the geothermal division, um, and the, we also have a wind division and a solar division. So um, that's, that's what the uh, company's goals are. Yeah, you know what I found out this week? Guess which state pays the highest utility bills? I'm going to go out there and say New York. Oh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> New York uh, pays the highest utility costs. Surprise. Absolutely yeah, what the a highest. surprise there, mm-hmm. huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, just to let our listeners know, 222 is the number to call if you want to pick up the phone and join our conversation tonight. Uh, what are, I mean, now I know that you're going to be on for uh, several weeks here, and, and we did uh, get into things in, in the first week last week, but what is it that you're hoping the listener, and I, I'll pose this to any three of you, uh, you know, what can they get out of this program? Because we're talking about things, what, like we were talking about saving money, saving energy, saving the earth, and, I've, you know, I've just written a couple of things down here, but, but really that sustainability can start in your home. That's correct. Um, yeah, and and we're and you know this program's all about just kind of maybe like that thousand view look down at at what you know a homeowner uh, can look for, um, what's available to them, uh, what different products are available, and just trying to you know educate uh, the homeowner to get a uh, better idea of what what is available. Uh, Pete, do you want to? Yeah, I mean we we talked about this that? a little bit last week, which. By the way, yes. I have a couple of really good announcements to make tonight. So I'm going to ask everyone at home to get a pencil and a paper because I'm going to give you two websites. One is a got to have and the other one is an absolute must have. And with these two websites, you can navigate through years of education and, and stop hunting and pecking the Internet. OK, so so that's that. But we did talk about that. Uh, the, one of the websites I, I want to talk about, you know, I'm thinking about this renewable energy mm-hmm. and, I'm, and, and we're trying to learn a lot of it ourselves. And it's difficult to learn. And you know why? Because the government's a lousy teacher. Uh, this is mm-hmm. an industry we'll that is full of acronyms, full of acronyms. Uh, you know, they co- the, the government comes up with an idea and they hand it off to engineers. But once you give it to an engineer, you're talking about LEED, L-E-E-D. You know, that means something, right? Right, right, right. EPI, that means something. ResNet, that means something. Well, if if you don't know what a word means and you look it up in a dictionary and the word is used to define the word you're trying to understand, Mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. And that's all the mumble-jumble that is in this. So I'm thinking to myself, what would make it easier to learn? 
So uh, what we've done is we've taken our first show, and we will do all our shows. We put them up on the Internet, segment by segment, just the way they're recorded. So you can go there, and you don't have to be taking notes during the show anymore. You can go back there and listen to it once, twice, three times. What did he say? What was that website? What was that detail that I missed? So you can review the show as often as you want. You can listen to any expert we interview as many times as you wish. It's a great resource for anyone who wants to capture all the details. It eliminates the need to take notes. You can sit back, enjoy the show. You can send a link to a friend. So, you, you've got me hooked. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I tell you, it's all it, there. It, Simply it, it, Green Radio. It's been up for two days. That's it. I'm and, sold. And already a, a, nearly a 1,000 people have found us. Yeah. So this is something that's getting some legs. The second website, and we'll give you that first one in a minute. The second website, if you want to learn about federal incentives, tax credits, what forms do I need, what is NYSERDA sure to do, what is RG&E going to do for me in this case? Mm -hmm. There is a website that breaks down everything the government offers state by state. You go to this website, you point to the state of New York, and it opens up. So you don't have to go looking for special people. It's all there. Okay, so that's another website. So there's two websites that you absolutely have to favorite in your in your web browser. All right. And now, Thank what, you for that, Pete. Yeah. All right, so what the first website? Uh... The first website uh, will be on our, in our uh, the link will be on our regular website, mysimplygreenenergy.com. Okay. That's coming probably in a week or so. Right now, if you want to see it, right now, if you want to see last week's show, here we go. It's youtube.com forward slash user, U-S-E-R, mm -hmm. forward slash simply green energy, youtube.com slash user slash simply green energy. That will give you this show, last week's show, and all the shows that we do. And for anybody who's listening out there that is a fan of Simply Green Energy on Facebook, which you can become a fan now mm -hmm. if you're not already, right. you can get that link there as well. And now because you and I are familiar with Facebook, whereas, and I'm sorry if I'm throwing you under no, the bus no, here. No, but <laughs> throw away. <laughs> but now what? Somebody, I can, you can send me a link and I can like your page, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You can I actually like your page search too. for I it. I think it's great. <laughs> Thanks. You can search for it, though. You know, anybody, whether you're, we're friends on Facebook or not, you can still look for Simply Green Radio right on Facebook and, and, and like the page. And that's going to actually include a lot of updating as to what's coming up on each show each week. Mm -hmm. And with Pete's uh, YouTube link, that'll be on there as well each week. So you can go back and listen to the shows, which is awesome. Well, and you certainly have a number of... Uh Certainly have a number of avenues where you can uh, learn more about the show. Of course, being right here right now, listening to us now. But then again, with all the things that everybody's been describing here. Go ahead. Did you want to mention uh, something? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to give that other website. Go ahead. Uh, remember, this is the mother load. This is the resource for <laughs> everything from the government. Here we go. DesireUSA.org. Now, let me spell it because it's not what you think. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the letter D-S-I-R-E. USA.org. We want to type in the word desire, mm -hmm. but that first E is missing. So it's desire. Uh, I'm sorry, desireusa.org. That is a great website. That's I visited everything that. the government has for There's a lot of you. good information on there. All right, so there's the so you've been doing your homework, Pete. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Okay. I know that's impressive, definitely. Thanks. You were quick. Go ahead, Brenna. I just wanted to interject. Um, I don't know if anybody in the studio, we haven't had a second to chat, happened to be at the BCB Home Fair Expo over the weekend. I was not. We were present, but I wasn't there personally. So your business right. was there, but personally, I right. happen to be there personally looking around. And I have to say, over the years I've been involved in the area home shows, I haven't seen as much renewable energy type uh, vendors in one location as I did this weekend. I mean, it's mm -hmm. obviously increasing in popularity. But what I did notice, which brings relevance to this show, is I saw people walking by looking very intimidated. Mm -hmm. As if they didn't want to approach. They want to know. They're looking at the sign, but they don't want to get too close because it can be very intimidating. Sure, I, I, sure it can. I'll tell you, you, yeah. you want a new career path? Here it comes. A renewable energy counselor. <laughs> There's right. going to be people out there that are going to have their hands on all of this stuff. They're going to have a basic understanding. You're going to be able to hire them. They're going to educate you in your home about your house and what's available from the government and your financing and everything. Else. That's, a, that's a career waiting to happen. That's I coming. Like it. Yeah. That's coming. One more well, business we yeah. can all get into, That's right? It. And hopefully this is just going to start help educate these people that take that first step. You know, I'm going to tell you so. guys something. I saw something on TV that got me excited mm -hmm. about geothermal. Uh, this got me excited and something our guest, Chuck, 
and I'm glad you mentioned that because yeah. I wanted to. You know, now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but we're basically going to be talking. Um, we're going to be talking about home heating costs here coming up in you know, for the rest of the program or for most of the program tonight. And Chuck Strang is going to be joining us. Chuck's the president of Total Heat Systems, specializing in uh, global, or rather, I'm sorry, in geothermal installation. Uh, he's, I believe, is the lead installer and, and installed a system in his own home. Yeah, that's, I, that's uh, correct. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to. So. When, when Chuck gets in here, I'm going to remind him of a conversation we had earlier this week. Chuck's the kind of guy he could say something to you in one or two sentences, and the lights will go on. They'll just go on for you. And he said something to me. It was the seminal moment. It was the moment when the lightning bolt came down, the lights went on, <laughs> and I said, "I get it. I get it now." But anyhow, I was watching TV, and they were, and I was just you know flipping through channels like we all do, and I stopped on this one show, and it was about geothermal, and I said, "How appropriate." And it was about a major college campus in North Carolina that installed the system, and Mo, the the the, the pipes were all under the football field. Okay? Right, right. And um, and what they actually did was they reduced their electricity cost by twenty five percent. It was a major building we're talking about, mm -hmm. and they reduced their natural gas bills by ninety percent. Ninety percent. Well, I could tell you, Pete, you don't have to go that far because you know right here I know Brockport has um, a geothermal in uh, at their college, mm -hmm. and I believe even the high school may even have yeah. some at there and then i believe um roberts wesleyan has a building yeah and i know there are others there certainly are others so uh it's it's exciting and um you know it's going to be great to have chuck as a as our guest and he is our lead installer yeah. uh for geothermal in yeah. um you know um simply green energy you know mo you so, and i we've been contractors a long time we go into a lot of homes oh yeah okay now yeah. How many times have you and I, together even, gone into a house and said, boy, this is a big, beautiful place. They just don't build them like this anymore. Right. Right? All the oh, woodwork yeah. and the marble and everything. You just can't duplicate that house. Now, if you can retrofit a house like that with renewable energy, because the big fear is how do I heat this place? Sure. Right? We yeah, look absolutely. at it. Well, it's beautiful, but how do I heat it? I wouldn't want to pay the heat bill. Right. And that is a, a comment that literally we say to each other, I wouldn't want to heat this bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And once you get into renewable energy, then it's, oh, who's going to clean this place? Right. But, yeah. <laughs> but, but I I think I think this stuff can bring new life to a lot of city homes that can't be rebuilt anymore, but are classic in their you know their institutions all on their own. Absolutely. So, and it's pretty ironic that you mentioned that actually, Pete, because uh, next week we're actually going to have uh, John Ballone yeah. uh, on as a guest, mm -hmm. um, which he took a, an old building. Um, you know, 1930, 1920 vintage, and actually retrofitted the entire building. That's a well-known building, uh, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, He's the president of Flower City Flower Management. Flower City Management, yeah. yes. And, yes. Um, so we'll be able to talk commercial application next absolutely. week. Absolutely. Right. And so. he'll be very enlightening, and, and i got to give him a lot of credit. He's actually the one that got me thinking about, you know, doing <laughs> geothermal and the whole green bit so yeah and we're talking a lot about saving money on this show obviously mm -hmm. save the earth save the planet save money all that kind of fun stuff but that's one thing we haven't talked about yet this uh this evening is about the carbon um dioxide emissions that come from typical households and one of the statistics i wanted to bring up is that the u.s our house in in the United States, U.S. Mm -hmm. households produce about eight percent of the planet's carbon dioxide emissions. Um, so that's Here interesting. She goes again, Pete. When you're talking, to, this is the environmentalist coming out. Yes, saying, exactly. I don't want to heat this goes. place. Yeah. There's an environmental <laughs> impact there as well. Let's talk about the car you drive. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I have CFL light bulbs. I need a four like by eight four. Wheels on it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, because I pass her with my Prius. <laughs> that's why I call it living green light. Doing what you can to save the planet without go. too much sacrifice right so, right i guess two, I two, two, i'm sorry no go ahead <laughs> two 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 eleven eighty the number to call if you want to join in the conversation again that number two 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 eleven eighty i had to interrupt because uh, we do need to cut away for a quick break but this is simply green radio here on ask the experts brought to you by simply green energy and mr river plumbing a website that you can visit folks my simply again that website my simply in studio with maurice aubrey mo pete maurice true story pete and also with brenna hartman we do need to cut away for a quick break, but we'll be back with Chuck Strang from the president of Total Heat Systems. We'll be back after this break here on News Radio 1180 WHAM.